Well, fake meat has been making real profit for early investors. Beyond Meat shares up just under 8% today. And there may be no cow in the product, but there's another bull on the street. J.P. Morgan Chase starting coverage with an overweight rating. The analyst behind the note nice spoke to Power Lunch about what he calls an extraordinary growth opportunity in an industry that could be on the move to as much as $100 billion. I think the most important thing to look at is the long-term potential. And the most important thing in the long-term potential is how big is this sector, alt meat, whatever we want to call it, plant-based meat, going to be. Beyond will get whatever percentage of that it, it is, but when you start looking at some of the numbers and how big plant-based dairy has become, for example, it seems pretty clear plant-based meat could be enormous. Now, Beyond Meat also announcing that it will begin production in Europe next year. Okay, guys, yes, can, can this stock, yeah. can this industry Alt -meat, guys. really Alt -meat. live up to this hype? Alt -meat. Can I just got? answer for Go, a second? Karen's in. So, I mean, okay, I appreciate the J.P. Morgan guy being so <laughs> bullish, especially up here. They were involved with the pricing of this thing, were they not? May 1st? May 1st <clears throat> at $25 or wherever it was? Yeah, 25. up from the range of like 16 to 18. So I don't know. Maybe it's in there. Maybe. The one thing I've noticed about Beyond Meat, and I don't want to take anything away from the stock move it's made people money, <coughs> is this guy. Is that if you look at, I looked at a few other companies with a similar market cap, about four and a half billion. They have two to three times more stock outstanding. Foot Locker, Floor, names like that have a lot more stock outstanding, multiples more than Beyond Meat. Is Beyond Meat's success partly because there's so little scarcity, value. scarcity of equity, which doesn't necessarily mean the business is that good? Didn't we, well, I mean, to your point about scarcity value, didn't we see something in this Porsche and Volkswagen? Wasn't it? The, remember that whole yes. Uh, yes. ridiculousness? That was and a short it. squeeze, yes. But to your point, though, you could have a situation like that. The addressable market of this could be ridiculous but, but if we heard doctors talk about second. any of the health concerns yeah that was a about horrible this? analogy the portion well, one no, no, but the, the analogy is such there's a scarcity the, factor yeah. when there's how scarcity about the analogy factor, to, 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 to tyson to hormel to pilgrims by all these companies that are trading at bloated multiples the food companies are a mess right now so why i, I get it's an alt market but why wouldn't every other food company in the world who are bigger who have more because the point i was uh, trying to be getting some piece 57 of this seven million outstanding shares on I, no, four I and get, a half billion I, I dollar get company your point, so I'm, I'm with you. my point I'm is it just about, being traded is it being bought or is it being traded you get no, the it's, difference it's people that are buying levi strauss for the first time again too because it, it's a it's a limited size i agree with that um, but ultimately get to the fundamentals of of alt meat and a billion dollar industry where barriers to entry for the biggest companies in the world it's not going to be that high of a margin and it's it gets to be absurd which i think it is right now what's absurd is that you just used fundamentals of alt meat as a real sentence look man you started it i'm just trying to <coughs> do some tv here man I'm just doing it well tim thanks a lot of people on the radio don't forget about them we love them. channel 112 serious they say you have a face for radio oh I, and, a, and a body for it too <laughs>